right. It is the 28th. I think around 12. <clears throat> I don't know. So yesterday, without eating, um, it was about 3 p.m. I was in Walmart and I started coughing insanely. Like, terrible because the heartburn was all of a sudden the girl was just like all that acid coming up in the middle of the store. Thank God it wasn't coming up my nose at that time. By the time I got home, it was. Um, and I did buy saltine crackers. However, I was so angry that I went up five pounds on the scale that I didn't want to do it. Okay. I didn't want to eat the crackers. Um, luckily a couple of hours passed and it died down to almost nothingness. Then I ate, you'll, I forgot, I did record, it didn't record. Um, so I'm going to eat the same thing tonight. It was, um, meat roll up things. Um, so what you see me eat today will be, um, what I ate yesterday. Other than today, I am going to have a protein drink and I did not have one yesterday. Um, so I did eat that and it cured most of the heartburn the rest of the way. So it's not... I don't feel it right now, um, burning in my stomach the last couple of days. Um, it is just drowning in my lungs and it up here in my throat, my esophagus area and through my nose. That is where the burning is and it's causing pain in my heart area and some palpitations and that happens when I get a really bad case. Um, I woke up this morning, all stopped up because it is still coming out my nose while I'm sleeping. Um... So if you suffer from severe GER, heartburn, whatever, it can cause cyanitis that isn't caused by allergies or anything else. I was on Claritin for years, for years, for cyanitis, um, just to find out that it wasn't actually being caused by my allergies. It was being caused by my stomach acid. Um, and that's why it wasn't helping, like, all those years. And it wasn't helping. And that is why, because it had nothing to do with allergies. Um... So when I was little and had this, I was diagnosed with having ulcers and they thought the ulcers, once that was gone, you know, but they were pretty stupid back then. I mean, it's a long time ago, a lot of technology, a lot of things have changed since then. I've had, like I said, people tell me it was from allergies. I've had people tell me, the one thing a lot of doctors tell me, um, is it's from being overweight for one. Yes, I know when I was smaller, I barely had it issues as bad as this. Um, and two, stress. That stress triggers GER extremely bad. And I had a stressful episode this week with my dad having to go to the hospital. And now I'm suffering from GER every day. And I'm not blaming him, but maybe that is right. Maybe it has nothing to do with the foods I'm eating. Because I have these stressful events about a couple times a month. Um, stress just, you know, bad things happen. And then all of a sudden I'm sick during that time and I'm throwing up and all the other stuff. Um, and I always have IBSD, um, C, C, D, um, they keep changing the names of it. Um, sorry, I have issues with that, that keto really, really helps with. Um, but the stress, I would believe that's the stress. Like I was going through my own, um, records from the doctors and one of the doctors lists that it was because I live a stressful life and it is causing me to have bad episodes of GER and be really really sick um and like I said I don't get to see the stomach doctor until sometime next year so <clears throat> I have not pre-cooked the potatoes yet um I did good yesterday like it went away enough that I didn't need to calm it down. Now, um, not only is it miserable, but it is extremely dangerous. And that's what got me, um, eating carbs last year, this time of the year. And then I gained a bunch of weight was because it is extremely dangerous. Cancer runs extremely high in my family. Like I am in line for so many cancers because everyone in my family on my dad's side on both sides have all died of some kind of cancer. Okay breast cancer, prostate cancer, tons of lung cancer, kidney cancer, like the cancer on my dad's side of the family is completely insane. Like, I mean, I had young aunts when I was a tiny little girl have cancers. Um, so yeah, I have to be careful because if you have, y'all, 
it's not a little heartburn. Like, like I said in the video, gushing, okay? Imagine a water hose coming out your nose and out your mouth and into your lungs, okay? So it can cause severe scarring in your lungs that can cause you to have asthma for the rest of your life. Okay, because one of my asthma issues since I was a kid has been due to heartburn and getting um, a lot of pneumonia when I was little too. So, it can cause esophagus cancer. Um, I know some of y'all pointed that out and I do know, I know about it. Um, I've known about it for years. It's actually why last year I went off keto because it's not keto causing it. Um... But if I eat potatoes every day, religiously, like I did during that time of the year, last year, of course I gained 55 pounds. I, I gave up on the whole insulin research thing. I didn't even try it to make sure it would work or anything. I just started eating potatoes and I got lazy about it um, because I was eating bread too. Because when I eat those items... I do not have GER. If I eat potatoes every single day, I do not throw up. It's the time of the, like last year during that time, I didn't throw up once. I did not have diarrhea once. I did not have heartburn one single time during that time once I started eating the potatoes and bread every day. Um, but I gained 55 pounds and they put me back on metformin because I was eating carbs. Um, my A1C was still completely normal, but it had gone up from what it was. So I was like 4.7 before that and I had gone up to like 5.4 or something. Um, and I gained like 50 something pounds, right? Really fast, like insanely fast because every single day I eat carbs, I gain five pounds. And this is not a joke. I take on tons of water weight. I take on tons of inflammation from it. Um, so doing that, is not an option. It's just not. Also, drowning, like I am still having it right now. Like you can hear that I had it all night long in my throat. Um, it is not burning anywhere other than tickling into my throat. Like I feel little pops of acid on the back of my throat here and a little at my heart. So it's giving me a little heart palpitations. Um, but that is why we're going to try try the potato thing i'm gonna make some maybe in a pressure cooker i don't know because i got the red potatoes um i just did regular baking potatoes last time but i'm just gonna try some red potatoes don't know when but we're gonna do a whole blood sugar two hour thing for it um i gotta make them let them cool i'll probably do them like a mashed potato let them cool um overnight and then heat them back up slowly and eat them and do the blood sugar thing and see because I need some something to help me control the acid however I'm really worried that's not gonna work for me since my blood sugars are too high right now I'm about to go look at my blood see if the A1C has come back yet because my fasting um, glucose at the doctor's office was way too high. She was very concerned. Um, and I probably should have stayed on the metformin, but I really, metformin destroys your stomach. And I really thought it was the metformin. Um, but no, no. I think it's the stress from this time of the year. There, everyone is extremely sick this time of the year. Everyone is having crisis this time of the year. Um, so maybe it really is just the stress. I don't know. But there is something like there is a potato diet for people who have tons of gur. Um, but the last time I had to come off the potatoes, I swear I had that. Um, can't even think of the name of it. It's where your body starts detoxing from the chemical that you've been having too much of. Um, my brain, okay, it's on my brain, but I can't figure out how to get it out of my mouth. And I swear that's because I had those stupid crackers every time I eat carbs. Oscillates, oscillates, something like that. 
I don't know. Wendy knows. Wendy knows because Wendy told me about it. Um, but yeah, I had broken out a lot after coming off all that stuff. <sighs> it's hard. It's a terrible life when you have to decide, are you going to drown in heartburn or are you going to be fat? I have to find some way happy medium. No, the egg bread doesn't work. It actually makes it worse because I'm very, very sensitive to any kind of eggs during this time. So I can't go in the um, kitchen and make like the um, like keto child pancake because it has eggs in it. I need to see if there's... Because I see chats, but I don't know if the real chats or fake chats on the keto child. Because I need to see if I order me some savory chicken, if it's going to be the new recipe. Because I got one in of the new recipe and already had it and it didn't hurt my stomach. Because I would like to do some of that to see if that will help. Um, but the website is still showing the old one. And the last thing I need is more of the old one that I cannot eat. So I got to look into that. But if my A1C comes back today, I will let you know. Remember what I have for dinner is going to be exactly what I had yesterday. And I just, it didn't record. Um, one, because I don't feel like cooking. Two, deli meat goes bad so fast and it's so expensive. Um, so, yeah. Dino bought a bunch. Well, I bought him a bunch of solar Christmas lights for the yard. Like... I'll show you. Hold on. It is from the Dollar Tree. And we're supposed to be putting them up and finding places for them today. So he's got tons of these little ones. These were a dollar and a quarter. Okay. They're um, semi-seeable. Like, they're seeable. But my yard has so many lights. They do better in very dark places. And then we got some of these ones. Okay. We got it. These are the ones he went looking for. We had to go to two different ones for these. These are not a dollar. So the big ones are five dollars. Um, and this one, this is um, three dollars. This one's more like the ones I ended up getting because he just wanted the big ones. Um, but these really show up really pretty. Um, so we're supposed to find a place for that. Yeah, that's Dino's empty can. Yeah, thing. <laughs> he does the Sugar-free stuff. Oh, no. No, girls. You can't come outside. Mommy busy. Mommy busy. Oh, no. Not you too, Thumper. Don't fight. What, Thumper? Yeah, y'all destroyed my door. <sighs> but, anyways, oh my gosh, but the lights blew out. So, I went to the store, and I could not find brown, and I bought some green ones and put in here. But, y'all, it is not great. There's glasses up here. It is not the pretty, warm, glowing light like it said it is. It's white. Like, it was supposed to be warm white. Warm white, to me, would be yellow. No, 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 no. Let's see if I can climb up here and... Plug it in and show y'all. Hold on. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Hold on. Get to look at the wall for a second. Okay, I hear it looks on the camera. Hey, some of them are not working. Okay, on the camera, it looks yellow, right? And that's what the package looks. In the night, without a camera, it is white. Like, fluorescent white. Like, there is no yellow to it at all y'all i love love my fall stuff right but oh and i got this yesterday for five dollars because you know the dollar tree ain't really a dollar anymore but that's really pretty um so i am having trouble because after being in the dollar tree i want to decorate for christmas right? but it's so pretty i also don't want to take the down it's, but this year, right now is like insanely hot, but this year I want to get my Christmas stuff up. Y'all, it's like 90 degrees and it's the end of October in North Carolina, but at night we're in our thirties. Okay. You leave the house, you better bring a jacket, but you better bring some shorts and stuff to change into because you're going to die of heat. Um, 
Last year I froze so bad, I couldn't get the most decorations up as I wanted. I really didn't do much. Um, so this year, I want to do it while it's nice and warm still. While I'm not struggling to hang the garland and everything. And then I can just enjoy it, right? So, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. You're not coming out. Poor Freya. Don't listen to that, Freya. Boys. Oh, there's Freya. She's trying to climb over everybody. No, poor babies. Mommy not let you out. You have the back porch. The back porch is open. Piper. All right, Mommy's coming in. Everyone move. Let the Mommy in the house. Let the mommy in the house. No, let the mom. No, I opened it myself. Let mommy in the house. Piper, don't cry. Everyone let the mommy in the house. How am I going to open this door? Y'all are going to flood out. Let the mommy in the house. Everyone back up. Back it up. This is going to be a nightmare. Back it up. No, 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 no. Where's daddy? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I right, no, Viper. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh my goodness. Daddy shouldn't have let y'all on the porch last night because now, now you're fighting mommy. Oh. All right, it is almost two. I am starving and I am not putting macros into anything, so I'm not going to weigh anything out. I have oven roasted turkey. I'm gonna get two slices. Okay, then I have low sodium turkey, totally different flavor and texture. Then I'm going to go in with some provolone cheese on that one. I'm going to do American on this one, which if you want to know, we'll rate, weigh the cheese real fast because I'll, I want two ounces of cheese and I think that's way less. So, give me a second. Okay. Oh, exactly two ounces. You know what? Let's do a little more since I've been under eating so much and the cheese didn't seem to bother me yesterday. I'm basically using this just to um, try to get more calories and stuff in. But I'm, like I said, I'm not going to track it. Yesterday, this is all I ate. Um, I had one slice of cheese less on each one. So that's probably about three ounces. Now, my expensive rare roast beef. It is literally all cut up like this. You can see that it is not this, which is fine with me. I actually asked for it to be as thin as possible, knowing that this would happen. Okay, so now we got our black forest. This is why I ate yesterday, just like I said, less cheese. And then I just, when I eat it, roll it over and eat it. So, no, no, mommy not giving you all her food. Anyways, this is um, what I'm eating right now and I plan on making something else later. All right, so let's make something, a protein coffee. So a pumpkin one. I have one sweet and low because I like the flavor of sweet and low. I have skinny girl syrup pumpkin caramel. One, two, I think will be enough. One cold pumpkin um, spice premier protein. Then I have one K-cup dark roast 
Starbucks <clears throat> on the cold brew setting. I usually use two, so we'll see because I kind of messed up earlier and pushed the wrong button. We'll see if one is enough for me. Let's just give that one second. I forgot my straw. There it is. We'll see if. Oh, good grief. I usually have the straw in first, and I forgot it. All right, knife time. Oh, and it's four whole cups of ice, if you're wondering how much ice I used. Good grief. This would not happen if I put the coffee in first, because it was warm. Okay. Are you serious? I'm still not at the bottom. You can also blend this, but I'm too lazy and don't want more dishes. Which probably would have been easier than doing this. There we go. Okay. Obviously now it's nice and stirred. Nope, I need another K-cup. That is too pumpkin-y. For most people, you probably love it. I do not like it very strong like that. So, let's just get another one going. So, we do have pumpkin um, whipped cream. But I don't want to use the pumpkin. I'm mainly going to use this one first because it's the sugar-free one. Um, I have never had any issues with blood sugar on this. I use a tablespoon and that is one carb for two tablespoons. I think I'll use two tablespoons today. We'll see. Um, these do not give me heartburn. They do not mess with me. I have no issues with that. I've used it off and on for years. And yes, I count it when I do my morning coffees because I use two tablespoons every single morning, every morning for months now. I mean like all summer, everything. And I just haven't told anyone because there's so many judgmental people about ingredients and it has maple syrup and blah, blah, blah. Y'all, y'all, on August 16th, it was 255 okay even after eating the stupid little I got down to 218 but even after eating the stupid little crackers because my heart burned I was 220 um two I think I'm back down to 220 um so it has not slowed down my weight loss my weight loss no matter how clean how dirty how this how that as long as i don't eat the stupid crackers but i had to because of my stomach um is about one and a half to one pound or two pounds a week i cannot seem to get a bigger number since the first two weeks where i whooshed tons of weight going to melt everything and it will not be as strong as I want it to be but I the carry cups are expensive and I've already had to put two in the fridge for later because I messed them up I need it strong so if you are in love with the pumpkin flavor you do not need that right but I want a hint a pumpkin. That's something I would try it without doing the skinny girl syrup. Maybe that's the problem. Oh yeah. That is better. I actually taste coffee. Now it does taste more watered down, but 
it is what it is. So we're going to put a little of this. Okay. And then just a little meat so I can have some maple. I think that's about two tablespoons. And this is my last meal of the day. It is almost four. And it's going to be this protein drink. I'm going to make Dino a blended one later. But, um, yeah. I'll have to try with some other flavors later. If you don't have this, you can use the um, keto chow or whatever. Um, I just find this one causes me no issues usually. But, you know, who knows? My body's just crazy lately.